today. Hanging out over at uh, Brandon McCullough's house right now. Filling up. Cooler full of ice. We're going to get it soaking, get it chilled so we can uh, do some ice bath later. I might follow it with some front squats. I'm going to do a little one-on-one -on -one talk with Brandon while he's in the ice bath. Ask him about what got him into all this crazy shit. Stay tuned. How we do this is we take all the hot water that was left over, sit and drain it out. We'll get our hose, fill our cooler full of ice with some water and get it chilling. So when we dump it, we'll have fresh cold ice water. Once we get our cooler filled up, we uh, dump this hose right in here and grab this cap. Seal it off. And then we'll let new cold water fill up uh, about a foot in it before we uh, dump the ice water. Now we let it marinate. All right, before we dump it, let's see what we got going on here. This is crazy. This is dropping to 32. It's been, uh... <clears throat> Sitting at about, I don't know if you can see, it hit 32. Ready? Yep. Hold up. Face ID. You know, it's right when you go in. How's it feeling? Yeah. In the cooler. I think letting it sit for a couple of hours, an hour or two. Right. What uh what are your thoughts right now? Just decompressing after a long day. Feels good. We're running about forty. 243 what uh when did you first started working out uh, just like seriously probably like <clears throat> 16 17 you know when I started driving probably so probably sure. like 05 What about uh, what about your first things you competed in? Was it a uh, powerlifting or was it the bodybuilding? I did bodybuilding first, and then I tried to get into powerlifting, but they were too strong for me. 
Man, they you were, they were ne next level dudes. You were pretty strong though. I mean, shit. You uh, <laughs> you surprised everybody in the gym. Yeah, but when I would go to those meets, they would they were their first sets were just stronger than what I could do. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, they were so much stronger than me. Just not a level. What uh, what got you in? Right now, you're training jujitsu. What got you into that? Really, just just wanting to <clears throat> kind of fall back in love with exercise and training. I just kind of got out of the groove and was eating like shit. Two thirty. You know, just wasn't taking care of my body, so wanted to find something that would kind of reignite that fire in me. You know, to want to exercise and eat right and learn something new so it's been good for me yeah yeah you're at 250 <laughs> right now how long are you going let's go for it. all right what uh do you see yourself getting back into some power lifting Probably not right now. I just want to be mobile and, and flexible and just want to be healthy. You know, I just want to feel good. I want to be able to move well. That's kind of, as I'm maturing and learning about my body, I'm learning that I'd rather be mobile and flexible than strong and powerful, I guess. Yep. You know, so. That's, that's I think, as you age, everybody ages, it's more about mobility than right. strength because yeah. I used to just never stretch or never do anything for mobility I just just go straight into working out and now that I'm older I just I can't do that you know and I'm, 350 yeah, now I just <clears throat> so now I'm just rediscovering how to move well and be mobile and flexible four oh. Just two dudes in the sauna. That's right, man. What uh, what's your favorite way to do ice bath sauna? I like to do uh, three rounds. So <clears throat> ice first, then the sauna, then ice, then sauna. Or I like to do all ice, three rounds of ice, then do the sauna for like. 30 minutes 30 minute session so if you're doing so it depends it depends on how i feel what uh what's your <clears throat> time rate on i sauna i sauna i sauna how, how long do you sit in here usually i'll do like 10 minutes in the sauna and then get back in the ice for three or four minutes yeah. and what's your temp you like in here About 148 148 heck yeah <clears throat> I mean, what's That's a, the highest our our sauna goes. It's, it's a little basic beginner sauna. What uh, what has been uh, the most noticeable, the sauna or the ice bath? Ooh, that's a good question. I'd probably say the ice bath. Yeah. yeah. I feel the just, ice bath just, for sure. Just for like mental clarity and like mental toughness, you know. I feel like I'm um, <clears throat> overcoming your inner bitch. Definitely. Definitely. What I've noticed with the ice bath is that in the past, my life, when chaos happens, I'm like right there. I'm like, fuck yeah, chaos. I want to be in the middle of this shit, right? Mm -hmm. And now with uh, now with um, ice baths, ice baths put me in a spot where it's like, my mind is not here on this earth. Mm -hmm. And when chaos happens around me, <clears throat> my mind just shuts off. Mm -hmm. I've noticed it. It goes, oh, fuck, chaos, chaos, chaos. And I think that's like the cold, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
just sh just like when your Allows body you, mind you goes deal with stress much easier oh yeah you just don't mind it like you right. don't pay attention to it right. you know yeah. mm -hmm. but i think that's the biggest effect the one thing i do want to try out with this one day is uh you know go get a gym membership with the sauna and do uh um like two or three 30 minute sessions after each workout mm -hmm. a week and you're supposed to be able to go your exhaustion rate supposed to like increase by 30 percent so it's like you know if i'm able to go do sandbag carries for like 10 carries right now mm -hmm. i should be able to like push it for another like you know maybe hit 13 rounds right just because of my just exhaustion right but it's also <clears throat> just taking your body after beating it to death and then draining it even more practicing mm -hmm. draining it even mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. so but uh for sure yeah, yeah what uh do you have any goals set for sauna or ice bath really just be consistent you know try to get as many in a week as I can you know I've been trying to do I haven't been doing as many sauna sessions uh, but I've been doing a lot more ice I've been doing probably the ice is addicting four, four or five ice baths a week it's addicting mm -hmm. dude it's it's yeah. like drugs I, I was telling somebody that it's like you kind of start to crave it dude crave it yeah mm -hmm. for sure like and if I'm not gonna get this and that's why I started researching the whole uh, hypo, hypertrophy or however you say it. It's like that came up because I was researching ice baths and it was like, when should you do it? And most people say the morning time. Right. Yeah. Or, or, you know, before a workout. To be honest with you, and I have no science behind me, but I would be like, I would imagine I would rather do an ice bath and then wait an hour before a workout yeah and that way i'm kind of like back because still like you know this feeling you get that feeling where your whole core is like still ice cold and you can't mm -hmm. move well mm -hmm. i feel like that would hurt a workout in a blink of an eye right so you might wait an hour until your core warms up or even come in here and kind of warm mm -hmm. up for like 10 minutes yeah all right yeah. Yeah, sometimes I'll just I'll just do three rounds in the ice <clears throat> where I'll just come back naturally. So I'll do three three or four minutes in the ice, be out for three or four minutes, then get back in. Sometimes I mix in the sauna in between, just about how I feel, you know. Have you noticed that the second and third rounds are way harder? Definitely. Yeah. What's uh What do you do to make it? I feel like I I always puss out and catch like a minute and a half after on the second set and the third set <clears throat> but you've managed to go you know four minutes three minutes three minutes and uh just trying to push through it really yeah mm -hmm. what, what do you keep in your head really i just think this is it's only three or four minutes so just push through it really yeah yeah dude <laughs> I think about the worst absolute shit. <laughs> I think about, I think about the worst things, and then I to psych myself up to sit down in it. And then once I sit down in the ice, it's like you could put like ten European supermodels in front of me naked, and I would still be on like Pluto. Right. right you know. Yeah. yeah. It's like. It just, it's almost like meditation, really. You, you have to go to this special place. You it, know? it forces you to go to this special yeah, place. I feel like that's... You're not thinking about emails or texts or phone calls or to-do lists. You're just focusing on your breathing and getting through that. Compared to... That session. Cryotherapy. What would you pick? Cryo or ice? Ice bath. I've only done Cairo maybe three or four times, but it was tough, too. I've done... I've done three minute rounds and um, towards the end it's pretty brutal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> catch us on round two.
Here, I got a white one right here. <clears throat> Second round. Second round. Final round. Yeah. What uh? What's your thoughts on how you feel on the second round? Was the initial it shock? good, yeah. Being in the sauna helped. We were in the sauna for like, what, 15, 20 minutes? Yeah. So, uh, it feels a lot more bearable. Just, just go around. I feel like once your core gets warmed back up, you can, you can last much longer. Right. That uh, second bath for me, I didn't do the uh, sauna. I did it right after you. Right. And my teeth were chattering. Yeah. It was pretty bad. You're going by feel. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't start the time. I'm just going to think I'm going to go one minutes. Well, right now you are at... Uh, 120. You need a flashlight over there. And then this was on the second video that I started, so you were probably in there for like a minute before that. I can just look at the video time. Hey guys, that was uh, Brandon McCullough, a good buddy of mine. He actually introduced me to my first strength gym, and uh, I'm forever blessed that he did introduce me there. Um, he and I lately been working with some ice bath and sauna work. Uh, I just wanted to document it a little bit, hear his views and his how he practices ice bath and sauna, and... Uh, Everything went well. We uh, had a great session, and unfortunately, my phone died. The sauna heat was just too much, but I hope y'all enjoy, and y'all stay tuned. Next video is coming soon.